We both work for Enphase Energy, and we're here today to talk about some of the frequently asked questions that homeowners often have when they first start looking into getting solar and maybe battery storage. Let's talk a little bit about how a solar installation can affect a homeowner's utility bill over time. Well, the way that solar saves people money, there are two aspects to it. One is the solar system is producing power and that power is feeding directly into the home. So that by itself is gonna reduce the amount of energy that that customer has to buy from the utility. Now, most parts of the country with most utilities, there's what's called a net metering agreement. That's basically a contract that you sign with the utility. That means that whenever the system is producing more power than you need in the home, the excess power goes back to the utility and they basically take that power and they sell it to your neighbor. So because they can make some money off it, they have to compensate you. And they do that by basically tracking that power as it goes back through their meter and giving you credit for it. And that's the reason why solar, even though it's producing power only during certain times of the day, can offset virtually your entire electricity bill if sized correctly. And there's benefit to the utility bill even in the winter time. Can you talk about that? So when you have solar on your house, during sometimes the day, especially in the spring and summer, the system produces a lot more power during the day than you need in your home. So with the utility and net metering, that power feeds back to the utility and they keep track of it. And they essentially give you credit for it. And those credits accumulate as the months go by when you're overproducing. And then at some point in the year, things are gonna switch. The solar system is gonna produce less energy in the winter than it does in the summer. And oftentimes homes use a lot more energy in the winter, especially homes that do electric heating. So the good thing about net metering is that then in the winter months, you can use the credits that you earn during the summer to offset your electricity costs during the winter months. On the one year anniversary of signing up for net metering with the utility, you have to settle up with them. So the utility compares your credits with your charges. And if things are designed perfectly, those will balance each other out and you'll have only about a one or $200 bill for electricity for the entire year from the utility. If you didn't get your question answered today, please email us at questions at We'll try to get to it next time.